Hi, I'm David Dinkle. Today we're going to look at how to use transactional funding for double closing in real estate investing. This specific example is a $91,676.32 net profit using strictly transactional funding by the student who had no money in the deal, no risk, and no credit of course. This is the A to B HUD statement. The left hand side is the front page or page one. Right side is page two. What we're going to look at first is the top half. I've taken off all the players in the game so no one is embarrassed or whatever else. This is the purchase price, $139,000. These are the expenses both on the first page and recorded from the second page that the buyer, the student, had to pay for the closing. To designate the buyer and seller so you don't get confused, buyers are always on the left, sellers are always on the right side of the HUD. These are the expenses that the seller had to pay and they're taken from page two. This is the net amount that the student buyer had to come up with to close this transaction, $139,318.02. This amount could be more or less than the purchase price depending on what the additional expenses or credits were. What I've done is cut off the top half of the second page also, so you can see it in greater detail. That's what this is. What we're going to look at is the only important parts on here. That's the amount I showed you on the front page, $139,318.02 that were due. There's no earnest money deposit. One of the reasons I mention that is I get this all the time. Well, it's not a legal contract. You have to have an earnest money deposit. Well, here's another example for you people who don't believe it, where there's no earnest money deposit. So this is the front side of the A to B HUD. Now we're going to look at the back side of the A to B HUD. And the only thing to look at here is what I showed you on the front side. These are the seller expenses. Those are the buyer's expenses. Now let's go to the B to C HUD. This is where the money is. Again, what I've done is I've cut off the top half. I'll show you on the next slide so you can see the numbers. Uh, it was sold for $239,900. Now again, this is a same day transaction. There's no rehab involved. If you said to me, how can you make that large a profit? We look for properties that are distressed, motivated sellers, and very often times have very large liens, code violations, various things like that, that we can resolve many times on the A to B closing are completely disclose and pass on to the C buyer who signs a hold harmless agreement that fully discloses exactly what he has to take when he buys the property. So here's the expenses. Now again, this is on the B to C side, $1,879.26. That's for the buyer's side. Now again, the student is now the seller. The student is on the seller side. He paid $6,244. If you're saying to yourself, where's the commission? There is none. Now this is the bottom line of the B to C HUD. That's the net profit on the transaction. I'm going to show you on the next page the transactional funding amount and how it came out. Again, I cut off the top half of the second page so you can see the numbers better. Here is the bottom half of page two of the B to C HUD. That's what the buyer paid, which is again an end buyer coming in to buy the property. These are the expenses that the student seller had. Now here's where the money is and what I want you to see is that's the profit, $91,676.32. Had the student put up an earnest money deposit on the A to B side, that would have been subtracted from this profit because he was getting back his deposit in that sum. That is not the case. This is the net profit. This is the transactional funding on the HUD. This is my account. You can see the exact amount including the funding fee. That's all that it took. This transaction was closed in the morning on the A to B side. I put up the funding for it. Afternoon the B to C side closed and the student was wired his $91,676.32 profit. I wish you limitless success in your investing career. Again, I'm Dave Dinkle.